Is the sugar man running for mayor? That was the headline this morning. The Detroiter who became a household name after a movie was made about him was running for mayor. The now Detroit's Matthew Smith went searching for answers and in the process uncovered the story of another long shot vying to change the city. Perhaps you've heard the story. Sixto Rodriguez, a Detroit musician who was relatively unknown in the States. His fame in South Africa, unknown to him. To many of us South Africans, he was the soundtrack to our lives. Everybody I knew had his records. The mystery surrounding him became an Academy Award winning movie. Searching for Sugar Man resurrected his name and kickstarted a career. These days, Sixto Rodriguez is back in Detroit. So when his name appeared on a list of people grabbing petitions to file for the upcoming mayoral race, local newspapers jumped on the story. It turns out, it wasn't Sixto running, he was trying to convince a friend. I told him to run and he said, no, he's pretty busy, I'm busy. Mystery uh, but, solved. Uh, this is Dr. Bob, the man behind the psychedelic shack and veggie cafe on Woodward. Now let's be honest, he may be the longest of the long shots to take up residency at the downtown offices of the mayor. But forget the hippie jokes for a second, the talk of herbs he sells, those who buy into that thing. He is a chiropractor and those who know him say at the very least, his voice deserves to be heard. I think we need to all just slow down a little bit, take a breath. It's not all about grow, grow, grow. It's like, let's really listen to what's going on here in Detroit and take this opportunity to become an example for the rest of the world. So could Detroit's next mayor be the holistic healer himself? Only time will tell. But if you'd like to know more about who is running, we've got all the information over at WXYZ.com. For the Now Detroit, I'm Matthew Smith.